right, I wanted to do a quick video uh, explaining to all of you how I mount my fabric prints so that they're prepared to um, be placed into a mat or a frame. Uh, what you'll need for this is um, an iron with steam or a spray bottle if you need extra water on that. One of these lint rollers is super handy, a pair of scissors, and some type of usable interfacing such as Pellon 911 FF that comes in one of these bolts that you can get at a fabric store or walmart.com, something like that. I'll put a link down below the video when we're done. So we have um, some prints I'm working on here. And this is just a, a rock bass that we printed with some uh, pink and bluish purple ink. And you can see that it is fairly wrinkled. And so what we're going to do is we're going to iron it first uh, and then make sure the back is clean. And then we're going to iron our fusible uh, interfacing to it. So I'm going to flip this face down. This table is an ironing board, by the way. You can do this on any ironing board. And this iron uh, doesn't have steam because the inside got all rusty. So I just use the spray bottle instead of steam. I'm going to mist my print. And I've got my iron on high. This is cotton muslin. Um, so sometimes you'll get some creases and folds in there that are pretty stubborn. But this guy is coming out pretty well. We're just going to iron this till it's nice and flat. Cooperate nicely here. All right. Then I want to make sure this is clean, that there aren't any uh, dog hairs or anything like that on there. And double check for any creases. There's a little crease right there that's kind of stubborn, so I'm going to. Give that a little more water to try to persuade it to come out. Look at that, it's gone. It's amazing the power of steam. Let's get clear one of these guys out. So, there's my print. It's nice and flat and clean. Move these guys a little bit. Now, here's my piece of uh, interfacing that I've already cut. Um, got a little brown on it from over there, that's okay. Um, if you're at all worried, you can run your roller on this as well. Make sure there's no strings, because if there are any strings or threads on there, it will push through on the fabric and you'll see it. So now that's nice and clean. Uh, you'll notice that these are cut smaller than the perimeter of the print itself. And that is in order to make sure that these uh, glue dots that are on this side of it, you don't want those bleeding over getting onto your iron. And in fact, this guy could be trimmed just a little bit, so I'm going to um, get my scissors and uh, yeah, just trim half or a quarter inch off of this one. Just make sure that's the right size. strip away. Double check the threads. There's one on there. There's a little thread underneath. I'm going to get that out from under so it's not making a little thread speed bump. Alright, so that fits pretty well. Again, there's some uh, scuff marks from my brown drawers, from the wooden drawers, but that isn't going to bother anything. Now, ironing this can be kind of tricky. And really, I want to start in the middle and then, you know, push up and then push up kind of together like this and then towards me, towards me. Uh, because if you just make one strip, it'll kind of like bunch it up and make some, uh, some bubbles that you aren't going to be very happy with. So starting right in the middle and pushing. And you'll see that kind of like paper, this pellon has a grain that there's a direction that the iron likes to go with and then you kind of go against the grain with some of the others. And I'm just wrapping that cord around my wrist because it keeps me from running it over as I go backwards. I don't know if you can see this. It might be hard to see in the video, but 
what you're looking for is for those glue dots to disappear. That means they've melted into the fabric. And after this, we're going to do one more time from the front of the print. And that'll be kind of the final test. But you can see this is shorter than the print itself, and that's what we want so that the glue isn't melting onto our ironing board. But when we flip over the print, we don't want it melting onto our iron. taking your time, working with this interfacing. Don't be in a hurry. Kind of watch it and listen to it where you get those little rolls and bubbles. And kind of go with it. Listen to it, see where it wants to go, and then hop it over. Okay, so now it's pretty much uh, melted uniformly, but now um, I am going I'm going to flip it over and then do the final iron from the front. I'm going to put it back so you guys can see where we go. It's kind of a pretty rock fish. This is a Pacific Coast fish that is very, very popular. People out there would recognize a rock fish the way people here would recognize a snapper or a bass. And this was a demo print that I did uh, in a class, and I think. The current NPS president, Nora Terwilliger, and I were working on this one together. Kind of a fun souvenir and memory with friends. So now what this is doing is it's really making sure that the, the front of the print is nice and flat and really evenly glued to that um, web. Now you got to know your ink. This one is... Um, this is Akua Intaglio ink, and, and this print is actually a couple of years old. So I know that this ink is set, and I'm not worried about smearing it or anything like that. All right, so now that's it. You know, this print is nice and flat. It's ironed to this fusible web, and I can trim the edges um, and, you know, paint the eye, uh, sign it, stamp it. But what this does is it, it makes your fabric flat and it makes it much more rigid uh, so that you can treat it just like you would a paper print, uh, putting it into a mat or a sleeve, etc. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, um, it would help me out a lot if you would have liked this video and consider subscribing. Thank you very much.